Megaly Rochette. Hi. Biggest, biggest win of your career? <laughs> yeah, by far. <laughs> yeah, it is. When we talked, I think it was back at the beginning of August, you had, you know, this race was one of two that was really circled on your calendar. What does it mean now that you've achieved your goal uh, to win here today? It's a little bit, it's funny because I dreamed about it for so long and I truly believe it could happen because I think you need to believe in it. You know, that's what allows you to come back and show up and mess up and come back and come back. But now that it that happened, I can, can't really wrap my head around it. It's really cool. I, I think it will take a little bit of time before I actually process it, but it's pretty incredible. Last week, you, I mean, you just kind of blew the doors off two races in a row. Did knowing you had that fitness and that power affect how you raced today in terms of being so aggressive? Um, I think, I, yeah, definitely last, last week gave me a lot of confidence on how I was riding and how I was feeling. Um, I, I, went, I went early today, and it was like I kind of didn't control it. I, <laughs> I realized that I was running the, the uphill a little bit faster, and I was like, huh. Ah! <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. And so, like, it, it kind of, a bubble that popped in my head, and I just went. And then I, I was in front, I'm like, oh, maybe that was early. But I just kept going, and uh, then the girls caught up to me. I had to calm myself down and say, all right, it's fine that they're there. It's good. And then I attacked again on the climb, and um, I was able to keep it un until the end. But, yeah, I mean, I guess it affected a little bit. I just, I wanted it so bad, so badly that it's, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I don't really know why I did that, <laughs> but it worked out. Uh, you're usually in tune with uh, what's going well, uh, what's not. Um, the sand kind of sets you back. Uh, how did you bounce back uh, from those two setbacks? You had one early, you were making moves, and then you had one that really kind of cost you. Yes, yeah. The first, I mean, on the first lap, I, I messed up. I went over the bar. I still have my, my right ear is full of sand. For, for, <laughs> for, for a lap, I couldn't hear anything. It was just like full, filled up. Um, then I messed up again, and then I told myself, all right, like, you don't need to bomb through it and come in with so much speed. Let's just make it through. And I made that, I mean, I lost the E-Mountain Bike World Championships two weeks ago by making a mistake. And the, rate, the mis mistake I made is that I, I told myself, don't mess up. And of course I messed up. And so I learned a lot from that, from that experience. And now every time I was coming into the sand, I wasn't thinking, don't mess up. I was thinking, all right come in a little slowly, put your weight back, and just pedal through, look ahead, and as eventually I was out of it. <laughs> so I was just trying to make it through and not necessarily make, make up time in that section. It was maybe two to go, three to go? Like there was one lap, Clara kind of put the screws on the climb, and then I think it was the next lap you kind of went. Did you have a feeling that on that backside climb that you were a little bit stronger uh, than Clara I, and Katarina? I just realized that, I mean, when, that, I mean, first of all, Clara was, I'm so impressed about how she's riding. That's incredible. She's a young rider. She's incredibly good, very calm, super mm -hmm. nice person. Um, so, I mean, that was amazing. <laughs> so yeah, she caught up to me on that climb. I knew that those guys were catching up to me, so I didn't go full gas on that lap, on that climb. Mm -hmm. um, because I was preparing myself to be calm when they actually caught up to me. Yeah. <laughs> and so when they, they caught up to me. And then after that, I just, I, I let her lead into the Mount Crumpet run up. Mm -hmm. And I was following her. And then I realized that I could run faster. And so, again, didn't really control myself. But I'm like, I'm going. And so <laughs> I went again. And, uh, and that was it. Yeah, after that, I really punched it on the, on the, the other time up Mount Crumpet. Pedaling that time, I really went full gas and... Yeah, I made a little gap. Uh, I would love to stay and talk about this race forever, but I'm sure you want to go celebrate, so I'll have one more question. Yeah. Uh, the emotions th th at the end. Um, I cried. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I cried. Uh, you know, what was that feeling, and especially to have Katerina come and you guys hugged and share that with her? It, I told you I dreamed about that moment for a long time, and I would, I'll say this. My goal was to be on a World Cup podium because a goal is something you can control. Mm -hmm. My dream was to be on the podium with Katarina. Oh, really? And, and it was a dream. I say dream because that's something I don't really control. I control what I do, yep. but I can't control what she's doing. And it happened. And I mean, I, I'm just so grateful that she took, 
she really was an open book for me for all these years, and mm -hmm. she showed me, she really taught me a lot, and being on the podium with her was incredible. The emotion also came from the fact that David was there, and we train together every single day. We do, we invest our lives in that. I was emotional from the support of all my partners, everyone that believes in me, my parents, my sister, and just, yeah. I just, I guess, all the hard work and all, all the years that went into this, it's, oh, it was overwhelming, but in such a good way. Well, cool. Well, you get to do it again tomorrow if you want, and then uh, you have to defend that sweet jersey that you have next week well, in Waterloo. No, I so. mean, I'll do my best. I'll, I'll try again. I'll, I mean, I'm always too excited, but I'll have to stay calm. Yeah. And I, that, should, that should help me out. All right, cool. Well, congratulations. Thank you so uh, it's much been for awesome. That. I know how much it means to you, so it was cool to see. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Cool.